on clock faces or in books, you are sure to come across Roman numerals at some point or another. We take a look at Twinkle Teacher Sam's video lesson for year four children on understanding how to use Roman numerals with their own calculations. Our learning objective for today is how to read and recognize Roman numerals up to 100. As you can see, they look a little bit different from the numbers we're used to seeing today. Instead of using the digits of zero to nine, the Romans used seven different symbols to indicate numbers. Interestingly, as you can see, they didn't use any zeros at all. So when it comes to making bigger numbers, you have to combine different symbols together. Here's an example of how this works. XI is 11 because X is 10 and I is one. Together, 10 and one, as we know, make 11. EII is eight because V is five and III would be three. Now there's one more important rule to remember when it comes to working out Roman numerals. And that is, if you have a smaller number symbol in front of a larger number symbol, you have to subtract that smaller number from the larger number. Here we've got IX. We know that I is one and 10 is X. So because the one is in front of the 10, we do one less than 10, which is nine. Underneath it, we've got XL. We know X is 10 and L is 50. And because the X is in front of the L, we need to do 10 less than 50, which is 40. Have a go at changing these Roman numerals into regular numbers, just like you did before. Except this time, all of the examples will require you to do some subtracting. This time, when you pause the video, you need to work out your age in Roman numerals, your flat or house number in Roman numerals, and finally, the answer to 98 take away 45. To watch our lesson videos, simply search for Twinkle Teachers before selecting your subject and key stage. Alternatively, you can scroll down on the Twinkle website and select Online Lesson Videos. Now you can browse our growing collection.